And we're back with Christopher Cook from Alliance Insurance Services. He's answering all your homeowners insurance storm questions. He's answering your car insurance questions. This person is asking if a water line breaks and floods the inside of your house, do your, does your homeowners insurance cover that damage in those repairs? Yes, that is covered. Water damage inside your home uh, is covered on your homeowners insurance policy, absolutely. All right, and you know, we've always watched those like mayhem commercials and stuff like that. You know, the hot water heater like blows up out of the house and whatever else. Everything is covered when something like that happens? Yes. Um, flood, <laughs> earthquake, acts of war, nuclear event. Those are the main exclusions on a homeowner's policy. So if mayhem does occur, it's, uh, it's covered. Okay, this person says, I got hit with um, the storm, Michael, a few years ago. My basement was damaged by water coming in under the doors and coming up through the floors and I was not covered. Can you explain why? Yeah, it's a very difficult question to answer with 100% accuracy for sure. As I mentioned earlier, a lot of the contracts across the state have been updated by the insurance carriers. Now to have that coverage, the, the, it's an endorsement that costs money. So your agent or yourself would have to have added that policy on. Um, but certainly most seepage claims were not paid. And I don't know, I don't remember, I think Michael was in 16, I may get that wrong. Um, but there's, and then the specific company or what policy you had um, could have been the reason. All right, so that would have been um, seepage, right? Not anything else, that's what that would have been called when it comes yep. up through the floor like that. More often, yeah, I, I don't know what else mm -hmm. would have caused that damage, that's correct. Mm -hmm. And so, and what you're saying is, it used to be that no um, insurance company would cover that. Now they are starting to write some writers for that, some special policies yeah. for that. But you have correct. to ask about that. Yes, and it's an add-on to your basic homeowner's insurance policy that many of our companies across the state offer, and, and most agents do try to get their carrier, or their customers rather, to buy those endorsements. Um, but you would have to have added that coverage onto your policy. Gotcha, okay. All right, um, if for some reason people have some kind of claim that they need to make over the next couple of days, what is your advice on how they should begin and what they should do immediately when, they're, when they see damage? Yeah, I mean, we mentioned it earlier and I, and I realize not everybody has a cell phone, but um, cell phones have became such a popular tool and they do so many things for us. Photographs are gonna be critical for you, uh, documentation, and then securing your property, uh, possibly doing some of the work yourself to make sure further damage doesn't occur. Uh, you know, high winds, typically we're gonna have down trees, down limbs. If we can safely, uh, key emphasis on the word safely, uh, get that tree off of the home or get those limbs away from the house and, and get the leak, possible leak tarped, that would be great. And I realize not all of us can do that, but anything you can do to prevent further damage um, that would be helpful in your claim scenario. The reality is, is a lot of the contractors out there are understaffed. They may not have the manpower to get to you as quickly as you would like. Uh, and those contractors are gonna be the ones that are gonna be most helpful in getting the work done. So anything you can do to yourself to prevent further damage, that would be great. All right, and just very quickly, inflation is targeting insurance as well. So we probably need to see if we're covered for the amount of the house it would be to Get it back to where it's supposed to be. Yeah, unfortunately, it might be a little bit late now, but that's a conversation you and I have quite often. You know, if you built your house three years ago, um, what it would take to build that house today would shock you. You would just be astonished because you just got over that building process and you're thinking, now it would only take X, whatever I paid, but mm -hmm. it's changed. All right, so that means that you need to check your policy and you need to call your agent. And maybe this weekend would be a good time to do that. All right, Christopher Cook, thank you so much for your help. If you missed any of this information, you can find it all on our website. It's in the two wants to know section.